So your product will help these chips run faster because it's keeping them way colder? Yeah. It's the way to think about it is they're going to continue to push the limits. It's like Formula One. Like yeah. if you can get another few computations a second that introduces more heat, but then you can whip that heat away, then that's what they're going to do. So as opposed to necessarily the chip running cooler, it just means it can run harder. So that's actually the, probably the better way to think about it. And then, yes, there's like heat exchangers that attach to the chip face that the thermal interfacing packaging draws that heat further, takes it outside. You know, that's the water mm-hmm. cooling or even air cooling systems. I was in a Facebook data center in the US actually a few years ago, they heat their whole property with heat from the data center. So they don't have a heating bill. Really? In the, in the winter. They generate that's their heat yeah, yeah. That's from trying to cool down the data center. Yeah. And they're ejecting heat at the same time. There's more than enough heat to heat the office. I suppose yeah. a simple example would be my iPhone. Yeah. When I leave it in the sun, it comes up with this warning, it doesn't yeah. work. And these supercomputers, I can imagine, be hypersensitive to something like that. Do you have connections in the industry that you're trying to get this into already? Well, we're already selling small volumes of the material to the material makers that make that material and then sell it to the the chip fabricators. The big one is a company called TSMC and they make chips on contract for companies like NVIDIA is a fabulous designer. Apple is another one. AMD is another one. So they do the chip design, but then they contract with TSMC to actually make the chip for them. 